11.32, so says the time right in the heart of the African continent, Lagos, Nigeria. Well, we are reaching you live from Victoria Island. In case you find yourself in Lagos, uh, just ask where Victoria Island is not hard to find. It's a beautiful place. They call it the heart of Lagos. And uh, we are Nigeria's number one for talk 99.3 Nigeria Info. That's what the station is called. And uh, we announced earlier what is coming up at this time. It's called Power Solutions. If you're tuning in for the first time, it is where we discuss the solutions to the power problems on the African continent with specific focus on Nigeria. Because, you know, uh, the power story of Nigeria um, by Nigerians is quite a popular one, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I have the best guy, the best person to be on this program with me. You know, I feel blessed to have this gentleman by my side every Monday at this time to have this conversation because he's been playing in this space and ensuring that businesses, small businesses, and not only small businesses, but innovations around, you know, bringing solutions to the power problems on the African continent get the necessary support they need. And that's the person of Dr. Weber Boer and uh, the all on team well done i mean i don't get to do this all the time but i must say well done indeed for all you do and welcome again uh right here thanks collins now just mm -hmm. a, an honest question for you i know my colleague jade was on in my place last week i was in abuja yeah running up and down mm -hmm. so just honestly yeah w was was she better yeah i me? told her straight up i said it on there i said why we buy again man okay. Okay. why is we were coming back okay you know i All would right. like jaddy to be here that, that was that was that okay. was a joke though there's just different vibe on both sides <laughs> very very <laughs> diplomatic very diplomatic okay all right, but look, I was actually in Abuja last week, you yeah. know, because of COVID. I haven't been there for a while, and so mm -hmm. like caught up with all our investees there. Yeah, um, uh, Minister of State for Power, you know, MDRE, all, everybody, you know, and it's mm -hmm. really exciting actually what's happening in Abuja. Just the, hmm. uh, you can just feel that change is happening. So like okay. we looked at the solar installation at Jabi Lake Mall. Mm -hmm. So that mall is now on solar. Wow. Ministry of Works and Housing is now on solar with Tesla batteries. I mean, it's all very impressive. Wow. So um, Lagos actually has to catch up. Lagos, please, we have to catch up indeed. And the good thing is whenever you say impressive things about uh, what's happening in the power sector, especially from the side of the government, it's, it's one of those things we know we happily bring to the fore on the radio uh, it's because you don't get here a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. All you hear is just the, the, negative other, the negatives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but there's something happening. Yeah, and then yeah. when we talk to these great guests, mm -hmm. international guests, and they say the same, that, oh, yeah. Nigeria is leading in this area, I mean, it's something to cheer about. Absolutely. So let's go to our international Absolutely. Guests. Now, so now, for the first time ever, we have a guest from Mexico City. Yep, 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 All yep. All right, so from Mexico... Um, and obviously, that means our guest woke up really, really early. For those of you who can, who can, who can only hear him and not see him, he even put on a suit and tie mm -hmm. um, at like 4 a.m. in the morning or something like that. So thank you very much. So our guest is Javier Betancourt. He's the team leader or chief of party for Sunref Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, so, so Javier, the first question I have is obviously, I think, I think you were already here mm -hmm. working in this space when I when I joined All On. So, I. I I, you know, I just thought, uh, so do you actually have, did you just kind of, you were born and then you started working in this space in Nigeria or g give us a story of your past, you know, before you got to Nigeria and then what you were doing before Sunref, mm. just to give us a sense of how, you know, w w how you, how you developed kind of your expertise and leadership in this space. Well, I mean, uh, th that's a very long story. I mean, okay, do I, a short I, version. A short I really version. worked. On... <laughs> Sorry, is that okay? A short version. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the short yeah. version. Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, I, I originally was, was working in finance uh, for a very long time. And then around 12 years ago, I got into the development sector that, as you know, is more of the humanitarian nonprofit sector. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, around then I started uh, doing projects in different countries uh, from uh, Liberia to Ethiopia um, and then around six or seven years ago, I started a project for renewable energy for USAID in, in uh, Nigeria, uh, which is back when we met. And then that project, which was called uh, REAP, the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Project, ended in 2018. And then about two years later, we started this new project, which is called Sunref Nigeria, which is funded by the French Development Agency. 
Um, and it's uh, an access to finance for renewable energy transactions in, in Nigeria type of program. And so, yeah, I guess that's the short story. Interesting. Now, you, you mentioned uh, Sunref. I'll get to the point where we, know, we need to know what the what is an acronym or it does have a meaning on its own. Uh, but but you, you are team leader for French Development Agency, which you mentioned. That's uh, AFD and the, the EU-funded Sunref Nigeria program. What does the acronym Sunref mean and what does it stand for? And uh, share with us what your role entails. Sure. The, the SONREF means sustainable use of natural resources mm. and energy finance. Wow. So it's, uh, it's uh, okay. sustainable use of natural resources and energy finance. Okay. It is a, a larger uh, international initiative by the French government through the French Development Agency, AFD. Mm. Uh, there are SONREF projects in uh, various countries throughout the world. Um, and and uh, the Nigeria project just started in uh, June of last year. So, uh, and it's about us financing renewable energy transactions in Nigeria. So we have a, a credit line of 70 uh, million US dollars. We also have uh, around 12 million dollars in grants that we give to, to our uh, uh, investees. And then we also provide technical assistance for, for those projects. So if that project needs uh, experts in demand assessments or feasibility studies or whatever, we will provide those for the project and make sure that the project is technically feasible. Okay. So basically, or, yeah. Wow. Okay. Go and ahead. then, and then you, you want to And then your organization is called Winrock. So what is the relationship then between Winrock and Sunref? Oh. Right, it's 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 a bit complicated, but okay. in the in the in the developed world, um, as you know, there are large NGOs. Uh, uh, Winrock is a, a large international NGO. It was funded by the Rockefeller family. Uh, NGOs implement projects for donors like USAID, like AFD, uh, like DFID from the the British. Um, so, um, when what? Um, Winrock is implementing the project for Sunra mm. for the French Development Agency, and I work for Winrock, so we're okay. we're the implementers for the French Development Agency. Okay. And uh, yeah. And so, wait, Winrock is Winthrop Rockefeller, is that correct? That's correct. It, oh, okay. it comes from Winthrop Rockefeller. One of the Rockefeller brothers. Okay, from oh, the the, okay. the the Rockefeller Foundation and all that. Okay, interesting. Okay, great. Very, very interesting, okay. man. Since so, so you're talking about that, so let's let's talk some some funds here. A credit line of about uh, seventy million U.S. dollars was provided to uh, Sunref's partners partner banks, and that's uh, Axis Bank and UBA. That offers attractive correct. terms, right? Shed more light on this and how uh, it can be, you know, um, accessed. Well, it, it actually, I mean, this is true. It's, its I mean, I think one of the things that why uh, the French uh, government decided to bring this to Nigeria is because uh, they realized that there was a need for a low-cost, uh, uh, long-tenor hmm. type of financing within the sector um, because it's what really makes sense when you're trying to finance these, these types of renewable energy projects. You need long-tenors because they have long payback periods. Yeah. So uh, this is a, a credit line especially designed by them to, to provide finance for this type of project. We have very good interest rates, which are based on the each individual's bank prime uh, CBM prime, prime power and energy lending rate mm -hmm. minus, minus mm. 300 base points. I like the minus. Uh, now, mm. for each bank, it's a little different. But just so you know, around uh, uh, right now, interest rates would be uh, between, it depends on which bank, again, interest rates vary and uh, go up and down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But right now you can get in, you know, interest rates between 10 and 12% for five years minimum tenor, 10% uh, uh, investment grant. So we, we give you a 10% investment grant on top of the loan. Um, and so it makes it a very reasonable uh, interest, you know, credit line right now. Um, 10 or 12 percent right now is, is really as good as you can get in Nigeria. So, and that's Naira, um, debt, right? That's Naira, not US dollar debt. It's Naira debt. That is 
Correct. We have both Naira and dollar debt. The Naira debt would be, as I said, around 10 to 12 percent, depending on what the the, the power rate is. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to dollars, we're about seven and a half percent, oh, wow. seven and a quarter percent okay. Uh, okay. for dollar. Okay. okay. So, so how, Javier, how were these particular banks selected? And then, you know, I guess obviously there's there's always an issue in this sector of of accessing commercial bank finance. Mm -hmm. So how do you see this program, you know, obviously this is a specific program, but do you see that over time this could bring other banks into this space to just lend to, to, to this space, you know, just regularly from their, their, their sort of regular portfolio? I do. Um, of course, uh, as you know, one, one of the issues for banks to lend with a regular portfolio is they really can't go on these very long tenors uh, loans uh, just because of the way they fund themselves they need to fund themselves also short term and they they, they lend short term mm -hmm. so uh, I, I do think the banks are trying to lend to the sector but they, they're trying to lend to the sector under the terms which are reasonable for the bank mm -hmm. which means two or three year loans uh, much higher interest rates um, so um, for a while, I think uh, uh, the banks will be, um, you know, uh, interested in the sector. But um, I don't know. I think it'll take time for them to really start lending to the sector in a, in a major way. I think one of the reasons that this project is here is to gotta get that going with the banks, uh, right? So they they need to learn how to lend to the sector, start to trust it, start to get a feel for it. Um, and so I think the banks uh, are, are really there right now. They have issues being able to fund them properly with the long tenors, mm -hmm. and um, they don't really have the interest rates right now that can that can really mm -hmm. so, uh, help. Yeah. So, no, conclude your thoughts. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm just saying uh, it'll be a while before banks really get into this sector. Uh, so right now, this is one of the first pushes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stuff, yeah. Now, what what type of renewable energy projects are eligible for the funding by uh, Sunref? Because, uh, uh, incidentally, someone just even sent a message asking for that, <laughs> <laughs> the same question. And and share with us a, a few of these projects that are, are you know currently ongoing. Well, of course. I, first, it can be any type of renewable energy or energy efficiency project. So any, you know, photovoltaic, uh, wind, biomass, anything that's renewable energy will we'll finance. Anything that's energy efficiency, and that we simply define by the reduction of uh, greenhouse gas emissions mm. or in energy consumption. Mm. Um, any one of those is, is finance. We could even finance, but we're limited to around 10% of our, our credit line to finance uh, natural, uh, sort of diesel to natural gas projects as well, which we considered energy efficient projects. So any, anything in, in, those, in those spaces, we're happy to finance. Wow, All right. that's good. Okay, but now specifically, so who would the typical applicant for a for for for, uh, for uh, the funding be? I mean, would it be you know small solar well, company I mean, or what? no? I can't really give names because yeah, yeah, we obviously. have yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah. But I can tell you that we have, for example, um, a very large industrial park that provides energy themselves and they're now bringing in additional energy generation and an additional uh, energy efficiency mm -hmm. and so it's a very large project it's almost eight nine million dollars mm -hmm. uh, and that's an industrial project mm -hmm. we're also looking as you know into mini grids uh, mini grid projects uh, mini grids have issues on the business model but with the grants that are being offered by the government right now I think uh, some of those are very financeable uh, um, projects and they're really growing it's really a, a sector where where nigeria is is showing a lot of leadership and so we're trying definitely to get into that sector and um yeah you, you know we we are uh um hosted by the manufacturers association of nigeria uh in 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 lagos so uh we also look at very closely at manufacturers and see what we can provide or support for them to improve their energy usage and, and reduce their costs in that sector so more or less that's what we're trying to focus on 
If you're just joining us, Lagos, Nigeria, you're listening to Nigeria's number one for talking. Nigeria Info 99.3, and we're having a conversation on uh, uh, power solutions today. We have uh, Javier uh, Bantacourt, the team leader of SunRef, speaking with us. Um, you know what they're doing, and so many questions. The most interesting one, I mean, one of the very interesting one was, uh, you know, the, the funds um, for the SunRef program, and he just said that any renewable projects or uh, projects can you know have access to this and i think that's some great news to everyone listening to us and mm -hmm. and weba has got the next question yeah so just javier just to follow up on what you just said about the manufacturers association so um so on one side you're working with the banks on another side you're working obviously with these large industrials that obviously have you know decades of experience probably generating their own power with diesel or gas or whatever are you finding them quite receptive? I mean, obviously, this is a great interest rate, long tenor, very attractive. Mm -hmm. But in the end of the day, they still have to make that decision to say, look, you know what? I want to go solar or we want to be energy efficient. Mm -hmm. it, is, it seems like a no brainer, but I imagine it's a lot harder than we think it is to, to get them to come across the line. It is. It is. We've, uh, uh, we've, we've been doing uh, these sessions where we go around the country talking to manufacturers and telling them what's going on and uh, what products are available for them and how they could utilize the, the SunRef credit line. Um, and and there, of course, as you know, everybody in Nigeria has energy problems, mm -hmm. uh, particularly manufacturers. However, uh, I think particularly after COVID, uh, a lot of the businesses are focused on short term liquidity loans uh trying to maintain operations not fire people mm -hmm. etc um and this these difficult economic conditions have placed this type of project sort of in a second uh, mm -hmm. you know a little bit behind these these very mm -hmm. important issues that they're facing day to day i do think that they see the benefit of it and the and the 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 savings that can be achieved from it uh but yeah you're you're right i mean it's it's difficult to get them to pay attention right now into these particular projects because of their I mean, everybody's having a hard time right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we do go and visit them. And of course, uh, at least in theory, they're all very interested in improving their energy situations. Uh, but you're right. It's it's difficult to get them to, to actually commit to, to getting a project right now, especially when they're just really more worried about continuing operations, right? And getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. All right. 11.50, so says the time on the AM, and uh, we are still live on Nigeria Info. Now, um, Javier, I would like to ask you, how can a potential renewable energy company or how can potential renewable energy companies, um, you know, listening right now, contact SunRef to have access to the funding? Certainly, uh, one of the best things that they can do is go to our website, sunrefnigeria.org. Mm -hmm. dot org right. um, and there they'll find all the information including an application button where they can put a, a press on application it'll explain all the procedures to apply and you also have a button there to apply online you fill out your application online submit it uh we'll receive it make sure that it meets our eligibility criteria which just means that we need to make sure that it's a renewable energy energy efficiency project and that it's below 10 million dollars because we're capped at 10 million dollars um and that once we go there it goes to the bank and then the bank then goes on to make decisions from there so javier but what there's also i think a floor right i mean you don't you don't want someone coming in with a ten thousand dollar project right i mean there's a you, you need a certain scale right? i don't I don't have a floor, oh, to be okay. honest, okay. an official one. I don't think the banks will really get into a transaction unless it's at least a hundred or two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I just think out of you know the cost for the bank to get the transaction and the credit, or, you know, credit analysis and all that. I doubt they'll go. Maybe fifty thousand. Um, we're thinking about. We have transactions that go. We kind of divide it on their transactions under $300,000 and above $300,000. And we have an expedited process for anything that's under $300,000. Okay. Uh, and we get more technical on larger projects. But, um, and, and then, but yeah, I mean, I really don't have... 
And then if somebody is already, let's say, a, a client of, of UBA or Access, I mean, can they also go directly to the bank or they have to come through Sunref? No, no, no. They can go directly to the bank. Of course, they'll have to submit their application, I mean, to us because we need to do the eligibility certificate. It goes into our system and all that, but the bank will definitely direct them and tell them, oh, we have this great opportunity, and if they're interested, you should apply here and connect them to us. And, you know, part of a lot of what we do is talk to our applicants and help them with their applications and what do they need, and, and we provide a lot of that assistance, yeah. All right, great. Okay, so if so, sunrefnigeria.org.org, yeah, or go to your UBA and Access Bank, sort of, you know, your 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 client person, and and talk to them, and then and then get the information. So this is great. That is really great. I mean, yeah. I just I just clicked on it now, and uh, the application form popped up immediately. Okay, we'll be back shortly. More talk, news, and sports after this. Hey, Ali, how are you? I'm tired, Shadi. My bank is bashing my head with charges. Huh, have I not shown you how to break free from self head banking? Uh, is it that Kudo something? Say, 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 Kuda, Ali. It's Kuda. Eh, uh-huh, that one, Kuda. I did, I did even see. They need white stacks. They don't charge me account or card maintenance fees. Eh, uh-huh. my bank has even charged me debit card. I don't have. My Kuda card was free and delivered to my house free. I have never paid a Naira for owning this card. Oh, what about transfers? Hey, Kuda will give you 25k transfers to other banks every single month for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> daddy, daddy, is your spot on? Better use your own data. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Kuda Microfinance Bank gives you an account with free transfers, a free card, and zero ridiculous fees. Break free now. Get Kuda on Google Play or the App Store now and open a full bank account in a few minutes. Kuda, the bank of the free you are listening to your number one station for talk your number one station for talk 99.3 nigeria info let's talk well you heard the man so let's talk and let's have the last talk before we wrap up the conversation right here on so, the uh, uh, power solutions so have you i think what's happening there is that colin saw your website and he wanted a few seconds to apply <laughs> <laughs> so he, he put on a commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. So, but have you? He's calling. <laughs> so final, just final question. Um, and we've asked this to our guests, our international guests in particular. Mm. Um, and obviously you you've been part of this for a long time. But you know you're now sitting there in Mexico. Uh, what what do you think? Um, how how does the Nigerian regulatory environment for for renewables and off grid and all that compare to other countries that you you know Winrock works with, Sunref is in? Um, what what is your assessment? Well, I mean, um, obviously, uh, Nigeria has been doing a lot of improvements when it comes to the renewable energy sector. It has been coming up with regulations. It has uh, started to look at standards. It's moving forward. I think it, it had been behind. Obviously, Nigeria, with its power sector and the privatization and all the issues that have been created there, you, you know how difficult that's been for the energy sector in Nigeria. That creates very particular issues within Nigeria that are somewhat different to other countries where we've done energy projects like Liberia, for example, another very unelectrified company, uh, but again with a very different uh, power sector dynamic. I think uh, the power sector in Nigeria being privatized and all the issues with the discos and the uh, and the Jenkos and all that. Uh, has created additional difficulties for the sector. Uh, but I think the sector is learning how to navigate those. I see a lot of uh, joint ventures, let's call them, between discos and renewable energy companies looking at distributed or peri-urban. Uh, so that's very encouraging. It didn't used to be like three years ago. It was really depressing because it felt like renewable energy companies couldn't go anywhere because the discos had this effective sort of monopoly on territories right and uh, ever since then they have been i think because of their issues they've been opening up to the discos to the renewable energy companies and doing projects with them and utilizing their grid and so i think that's that's improving a lot um and yeah, again, uh, in certainly within the renewable energy regulation directly, Nigeria is moving forward uh, very well. Okay. So that's, that's it's looking good in, in the term. Looking, yeah, go ahead, looking please. good. All right, look, looking good. Yeah. I mean, um, we're doing something right. 
and let this keep the momentum and, mm -hmm. and keep improving and get better. Absolutely, absolutely. So Javier, thank you so much for getting up so early, putting on a suit and tie. Sorry <laughs> that we weren't wearing one either. <laughs> also, um, but but anything for you, Weaver. Thanks, man. I, I always dress up for you, Weaver. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> All right, and I see you're, I see you're drinking your coffee, so I, I don't know if you're going to stay up or go back to sleep, but have a great day, have a great week, and thanks for sharing your experience, and I hope that you now get like a tripling, doubling, you know, quadrupling of applications uh, from across Lagos and across Nigeria. That's right, That's right guys. Don't forget the website Me again. Too. Yeah, don't forget it's uh, sunrefnigeria.org, guys. Go there and apply if you are eligible. Of course, you definitely, you know, could be one of those. And remember to say you heard on Past Solutions that Weba told you about it and you took the step, right? Yeah, can you add that as an option on the on the, the, the um, application? You heard it on Power Solutions. Yeah, yeah, from Weba. All right, cool. Well, All right, good. All right, thanks, Javier. Have a great week. Pleasure being here. Thank you. Great. All right, Take bye. Care. All right. I mean, that's it for today. Um, soft work, great conversation, and um, lovely value, especially with the the exit. Because the industry, of course, you know that uh, needs a lot of funding, especially people. If we have to fix it, there's got to be a mm -hmm. lot of funding, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and coming in. And of course, and access to this funding has to be also as easy as possible, and also has to be also rigid at the same time. You know, the peculiarity of our environment. So this is us hoping that somebody, you know, has found uh, some value extra today especially with this uh, with regards to accessing fund for renewable energy projects yep that's it weber that's there's, it's, there's more next week who's coming next week you uh, 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 <laughs> I, I it sounds like it might be jade based on what you nah, say nah. but, but we'll, we'll decide <laughs> yeah yeah just just, <laughs> just, right. just 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 doesn't take me seriously okay. man. it All was right. great anyway it was great to have you back from abuja yeah, well, that's it, guys. We are out of here. Next week, Monday, we have another episode of the show. If you enjoyed this, you could do another with us again. And I uh, promise you another interesting guest to be here to discuss power solutions. Bye for now. Have a great week. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.